Hello there, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. What I'm going to cover on this one is the first of probably three or four videos uh, about curves, Photoshop curves and how to use them. Now if you're like me, uh, at some point in the past you've tried these things and it didn't work. And uh, you wonder what the heck were these things and what good were they? Well they really are good once you figure them out. And I'll show you how to get some uh, just, just the basic stuff going now. That's going to be adjusting some contrast and adjusting the brightness of an image. So here's an image. These are Canada geese. I took this on a, uh, oh, I guess an overcast rainy day in my camera, I think. It, it, it metered off of this. Tried to make that the 15 per, or the 18% gray, so everything is way too dark. And this is what the histogram looks like. See, there's nothing up here in the light area. So we're going to adjust that. We're going to use curves and a curves adjustment layer. So here we go. This is our background, and you know, like y'all, we should do copy it. There we go, got a background copy. And we're going to go to the curves adjustment layer, and this is it. And what you've got here in this curves adjustment layer, you've got this diagonal line. Now apparently with a digital camera, this is always going to be straight. With a film camera, apparently it moves around. And I'm not going to go into the technology, because I don't know it. Anyways, it's straight, but you can adjust this. You can put a point on the curve, you can move it up, you can move it down, you can put multiple points on the curve, you can do all kinds of goofy things with it. Uh, you, can, you can drive yourself nuts. There, do you like my picture now? Now, this is kind of cool. Here's a, here's a neat little trick. If you've been in a, a dialogue, any dialogue that's uh, uh, an adjustment layer, and you want to get back to where it started, what you do is you press the Alt key, and I'm going to do it in a second, and watch the Cancel button right here it turns into the reset. See, isn't that cool? Press that, resets right back to the original. Now, basically, on a curve on this diagonal, down here is basically your, your I'm saying basically too much, is your, uh, your shadow area. This is your midtone, and these are your highlights. Anything below the curve, down this way, that's going to darken your image. Anything above the curve is going to lighten your image. So if you push up here, like this, you're going to lighten the uh, the shadow area. If you push up here, you're going to lighten the highlights. And obviously, if you push up around here, you're going to lighten the, the midtones. So there's our real quick curves adjustment. Now let's take a look at it. Move this out of the way. And uh, I'll turn it off, turn it on. You can see there's a little bit too much in here. There we go. That's the original, and that's that. Now, if you're not happy with what you've done, you can double-click, and you can move things around. So I'm, I'm using my, my Wacom pen. Of course I'm using my Wacom pen. And uh, let's see, I don't want it to go quite that way. Okay, let's see how it looks now. It's probably a bit better. I mean, we can mess around with this for the next 15, 20 minutes, but I only have, like, six and a half minutes left on my uh, video here, so I've got to hurry along. So that's that's what it looks like. Now let's look at, take a look at the uh, histogram. That's after, and that's before. You can see the there's a lot of mid-tones, so they've been squished down a bit and moved to the right. There we go. So you, well, you don't have a better histogram, you have a different histogram. There's no such thing as a bad or a good histogram, it's just what it is. Okay, so that's one thing you can do. Let's see, what else is there? Here on the, uh, on the, on the curve, the steeper this line is, this way, the more contrast you have. The shallower it is, the flatter it is, the less contrast. And you can see what happened there with this here, we got that. That's not good. So we have to make sure that our line kind of follows some kind of a, a nice progression. And you can see what happened here is it lightened up everything and we actually have a bit of detail in these trees, which you couldn't see before. And I don't know if you can even see it now uh, with the small video that you have available, but take my word for it, there's detail there. Okay, so we're going to click that, and la-di-da, before and after. And I really didn't move that curve very much, but you know, uh, when I first started off, I was moving it huge amounts, didn't know what the heck I was doing. So I'm just going to pause this, and I'm going to bring up another picture, we'll play with that as well. So we just hang on in anticipation. Okay, I'm back. 
And here's another photograph. This is a photograph of some old building that's abandoned now. And I guess it was in the spring because the leaves hadn't quite popped out yet, but some of the green grass is showing up. So we're just going to play around with the uh, curves on this one as well. Now here's its histogram. You can see there's an awful lot of stuff down here in the white area, in the midtones, but not too much in the darker area. So let's see if we can darken this beast up a bit. Again, here's our layers palette. Make a copy of the background layer. See, I always forget to do that, but today I didn't. Isn't that amazing, huh? The Photoshop purists would be happy with me. So I'm just going to move this out of the way and bring up a curves dialog. There we go. Now, what you can do is, when you've got the curves dialog up, see the uh, cursor has changed into an eyedropper? If I place it on my tablet, or if you left-click your mouse, and move it around, you can see that wherever I sit, um, at any given point, that it shows where it is on the curve. So there's the, uh, the highlight of the clouds, and you can see the highlight of the building is really high. Over here in the trees, it's getting darker. Down here on the road, it's kind of like a mid-tone gray. I don't have very many darks, dear, do I? Um, so I think I'm going to put a point right here. If I wanted to take a point from there, what you do is you press the control key, and let's take it from here. There. Whoops, don't want that one. And this is how you get rid of a point. You drag it off. Press the control key, and wherever you tap, it's going to set a point. There's a point right there. So now I can just kind of drag this one down a bit. Ah, that brightened... Uh, or darken it up a bit. Now, what else can we do with this? This is awfully bright. I don't know if we can do much with that. Now, it's kind of hard to do it, uh, unless we maybe bring the midtones in. Okay, so let's take a look at that, see how it looks. Okay, here's our our after histogram. Funny looking thing, isn't it? Uh, let's redo the cache. Okay, it's done. So there is our before, and there's after that quick adjustment, to that quick uh, curves adjustment. I guess that looks a bit better. I don't know. It's got more contrast for sure. And it's got a few more darker areas in it, as you can see in the histogram. Yes, it's taken some of this and lowered it down and spread this out to the left. So there you go. That's doing it with... Uh, um, an image, and let's take a look at our curve again. Now again, if I bring this over a bit, it's going to increase the contrast even just a bit more. So the steeper this line going this way, up and down, the, the greater the contrast. The flatter, the less the contrast. So you want to stay away from that less contrast normally. I mean, there's no such thing as a rule that can't be broken, right? And it's not a rule, it's just kind of a guideline. You can also play around with these guys here. You can drag them across and you can drag it up. It's not doing very much. There, that did uh, some things to it. Okay, so let's go with that one and see how it looks. Here's your here's your histogram. Big difference. So give this a try. It really is fun. It really is effective. And and you got to you got to know curves if you're going to be a Photoshop guru that people are going to uh uh, beg you to do their pictures. You've got to know how to use this. So that's it for this one. That's the contrast and brightening or darkening an image using curves. Um, go ahead and try it. Dig out some images. I'm sure you have one image somewhere that you're really not pleased with that you'd like to change. I have more than one. I have many. So I've got lots of practice with curves. So anyways, um, you'll see more in the next video. It'll get into more things like uh, uh, other adjustments, contrast adjustments, and color adjustments. So thank you very much for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you've learned something. Visit my site, please, www.the-graphics-tablet.com. Uh, that's for you folks that found this on YouTube, you folks that found this in my, uh, on my website. Well, you don't have to go anywhere because you're there now. So thanks again for watching. I appreciate your time.